Well, when an American flag becomes tattered beyond repair, there is a proper way to dispose of it. Cadets in Hickson High's Air Force Junior ROTC program know exactly how to do it. Patriotism and respect are on full display in tonight's edition of What's Right With Our School. What's so proud? Today, we, um, we, pr we provided a flag retirement ceremony. Host! It's a formal way to dispose of a nation's icon with honor for those who have fought and lost their lives for our country and flag. There's a proper way to dispose of all flags that are become unserviceable, um, worn, tattered, and that's what we did today. We retired a flag. The flag, when it's in such condition, that is no longer a fitting emblem for display to be destroyed in a dignified way, preferably by burning. There's a lot of symbology when it comes to um, our United States flag, the blue, the Union blue representing our Union as a, as a unity. That's why when they cut the flag, they cut the Union square out to symbolize the unity of our nation that it will never be broken. And it's important to let these young people know, you know, the importance of patriotism and why we should represent our country and ourselves in the most um, dignified manner as possible. Today the flag of the United States is made up of 13 alternating red and white stripes that represent the original 13 colonies with 50 white stars on a blue background representing the 50 states. It's a uh, true ceremony so it's important to them to, to understand the right way to do things and, and the wrong way to do things so it's important that they um, do this. In the regulation, in the protocol regulation, you just do it in the most dignified manner. And, and we try to get our cadets to run this program. They run this program. They plan it. They do it. And uh, it's all on them. Bless and consecrate this present hour. We thank thee for our country and its flag and for liberty for which it stands. We try to do one or two of those a year. And we'll gather flags from around the community and, and we'll dispose of them properly like we did today. It, it gives them pride of ownership and to know that they've done something good for the community and their nation. Powerful story there. If you know something positive that's happening in our schools, we would love to hear about it. Just email us at news at WDEF.com. You might see your idea on a future edition of What's Right With Our Schools.